I knew his eyes was hoping. Wait. Hundred ten eighty five. Hundred ten eighty five. Seventy. Okay, is there a better offhand? There is not as good as what I have on the other guy, but yeah, there is. <laughs> Christ! I'm sorry that echoed. I could hear the wind on the mic. I do apologize. Huh. I apparently don't need it. the other one I bought. Uh, I think because this is high quality, it's actually outclassing it. Yeah, it is. It, because it's high quality, it's ever so slightly better. Hmm. That's actually good to know. A high quality, at least in this regard, a high quality main hand can be better than a normal, the next tier up. Good to know. So, what's my stats like now? Still not good enough. Is it literally just because this isn't a bit better? Freaking hell. Needed to be a fair. Okay. Yes. Actually, it's not too bad, really. I already have this. Um, I then there's even high quality one I could get. Already have these. Already have this. And, but there is a high quality iteration that I could get, but it is pretty steep for not too much of an upgrade. Uh, already have these. And they aren't, I don't think they're worth the slight upgrade for high quality. Wait, same boots I have. Um, alright. Damn it, that was control, not craftsmanship. Actually, yeah, it doesn't seem like head items improve craftsmanship. Dogs it. Ring items don't either. Bracelets don't either. They're about CPGP. 
Yeah. It seems to... Seems just torso armor and then the main hand and off hand improve crafting. Uh, craftsmanship. I could get 80 more craftsmanship if I took. if I got both a high quality iteration here. Okay, materia. Okay, um, base item level four hundred thirty. best I can do is this. If I socket enough of these, it might be enough. Okay. Wait, I can materia fuse my... Uh, nah, I'll just go to the guy down here. I think I can, but maybe not for this, some of this stuff. Yeah, uh, actually, no, I could for that, but not for this. You have to be actually skilled in the production methods to do it. Which kind of speaks out, which is actually kind of perplexing. Like, these people are, you know, master craftsmen, and they're just standing here. Apparently, I could eke out an additional point if some if I had a seven somehow. Huh. This is kind of costly, but. Well, it's ultimately kind of cheap, but it does add up. It'll pay me back dividends, I'm sure. Oh yeah, I should have worried about Materia before. Just for a, a long time there, I was just upgrading my kit, and, you know, that was enough. That was fine. I didn't need to suck a Materia. Okay, I've run out of materia. I thought I was overbuying it, because I was just buying it blindly. Ah, oh, actually, I bought one too many. They're too low level to fit in. But now I got craftsmanship 555. Um, I feel I've left my control slip a bit low. But whatever, I don't give a fuck. I was a concern to happen right as he walked by. I was like, the hell? <laughs> okay. At long last, I shall make bake baked onion soup. Not that I remember how much I was even going to sell it for. Oh, inventory space. Uh...
Okay, 650. Unknown adventure. Uh, well, at least I'm not so unnoticed. No idea what I paid for it, but uh, just got him not so unnoticed. Even once a while ago. That did not happen in a few episodes ago. Also, I forgot to actually introduce this right. I just realized that I will be grafting this onto the previous set because that ended up only being like 20 minutes. Thousand. Oh wait, yeah, that's me. Hmm. All right, thousand. It's annoying. That's not friggin' selling. Anyway, let's get on to crafting these. Ooh, damn. Didn't even realize any muscle memory. Okay, I can make 77 of them. That's plentiful. But I wish how much I knew how much I wanted to actually sell these for. Something I'm realizing. I'm going to be maxing out Culinarian soon enough if I do too many, too much cooking in it. I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't think I was going to ever going to level it. Because of how many ingredients he needed and shit like this, it was a bit daunting, and it didn't seem, you know, cost efficient in the slightest. You know, or actually profitable in the slightest. So it's it's doubly shocking to me. So I am gonna have to get Stormblood soon, because Colinarian's gonna go the way of armor or otherwise. And beyond all that, I do. I just generally need to actually play the fucking game, and not just play this as you know, economic simulator 2021 or 2020. This is admittedly coming out in 2021, so that works. But it's presently February 2020. Actually, I'm thinking in 2021 to compensate for my backlog. Um, um, if I can actually get a nice spurt of recording done. I will um, have to compensate in regards to the backlog. Do a like week or two, maybe more, where I just give you like release it like I did. Wow, I think I'll be retiring well uh, after BFA. Um, at least for the time being, I'm a little off it. Um, but yeah, I might um, release it like that. Uh, just for, you know. Maybe pick it up, like, uh, you know, do it like I did WoW and have it once a day from then on, or just do it for a time being, uh, just do it for, uh, you know, a week, a few weeks, or what have you. Just to bounce out the uh, backlog. Um, I'm not sure. Um, gotta hum and haul over it a bit. It just, I don't want to start releasing it once a day as a new thing and not be able to keep that up. I don't mind if it's a little here, like, the backlog's getting too crazy. I want to compensate for it and to lessen the effect of all these crafting-only videos. If 
you know, if they just come out in a huge spurt and you get actual progress. You know, um... I feel better about that. Like, you know, like, okay, here's a huge spurt to get these out, you get some progress, then we go back to the old way and this kind of thing. You know, I feel better about that. Um, it's a bit different to do, trying to, to keep it as a daily thing, but not being able to keep it up. Actually, speaking of that, I should go finish BFA at the very least. Um, final patch is out, so I should go get that done and just try and wrap that up. Actually, there was a blog post I was meaning to bring out for BFA, commenting on how I wasn't, didn't really approve of how they handled Jaina's story within it. Like, Jaina st stood neutral when the Horde attacked Terramore after her father took the place over and l l used it to lay siege to the Horde, a faction Jaina was trying to befriend. Ter um, P Jaina's people, well, the people back home, didn't approve of Jaina staying neutral. They saw her as a monster siding with the heinous orcs. So when she turns up, they're re well, they look ready to lynch her, and while well, the mom has to be poked, as she does miss her daughter to a degree, she does throw her away uh, ha into prison um, for her actions. And you too, because you accompanied her. And then suddenly, after you do all the work and just free Jaina, well, Jaina does call back the fleet and stop the coup. That's all she's done. And suddenly she's the Admiral. The people were ready to lynch her in the streets. As a monster. And yet suddenly she's the Admiral. Or Grand Admiral, what have you. It's too much of a jump. Her betrayal? Certainly. Stop... Uh, yeah, uh, that final piece in stopping the coup, bringing back the fleet, would be a major piece in earning her redemption. You may have agreed with what she's done, but in her eyes, and the eyes of her people, she needs to redeem herself. There's a redemption arc, even if you don't think she needs to redeem herself. It's like an in-universe kind of thing. If, uh, Christ, it's cold. I'm shaking here. Uh... Didn't realize it was so bad till like right now. It just like suddenly hit me. There's a redemption arc there, and they rushed it too much. I think there should have been yes, ha have what they had there of her stopping the coup and bringing back the fleet. Sure, that's fine. But also after that, have little like as you like. Currently, you see her and Barouse turning up and having different conversations with people and cute little scenes like this. But instead of having that. You could well, well, you could have that to a lesser degree, and like, like having honest tension and whatnot there. Like, tell a little story through these. There's honest tension. You see her in um, the Gothic horror place, helping fighting off Coven revenants or a different threat to villagers, and the villagers having va varying reactions to her. Having her in Stormsong Valley. Aiding the people against the uh, Lord Stormsong's forces, or you know, outright faceless ones. During the Naga invasion, having her aid people, f like defend people against the Naga invasions. Um, there's a faceless one attack. Having her f defending people against that. Having her in uh, Terragard Sound itself, defending people against one threat or another, like pirates or what have you. Have her believe, like, like at the end of the raid that they brought in, when she's the raid boss, you have to have her bleed for her redemption. She betray as far as they're concerned, she betrayed the leader, she left him to die, she sided with the Horde. For her to earn her redemption, she must bleed for it. Her, uh, the, uh, the torment she suffered within that hellscape is only known to you, her, and her mother, and the guy who obviously did it. The people don't know about that, and they wouldn't care. They may feel she did fucking deserves it. They probably would. To earn her redemption, she would must. She would have to suffer for it. She would have to bleed for it. And bleed in their name. But, you know, it would have been much more an impact, better arc, if she 
either at the end of the expansion or in lead up to the, fun to the end of the expansion became the Admiral after having this whole arc of her earning the redemption or re earning their love. Showing that she recognized she was wrong, trying to do right, and even though she can't bring it back, she can't do that. You know, that effort, trying to do it. Because as it stands, there makes no reason why there hasn't been an attempted coup beyond people not wanting to die to her, because she's an incredibly powerful mage. There is no sense there isn't widespread riots and discontent. Because she hasn't done enough to earn her redemption. Uh, from what the build-up was, the people should see, still see her as a horde ally, as a menace to them and their way of life. Uh, the murderer of their former Grand Admiral. <sighs> Apparently back in, BF in WAD, um, they, ha they had more of an arc for Yero that they decided not to go with. So in a sense, the middle of her arc is cut out. And it's kind of the same as Jaina, I feel. The middle of her arc is cut out. The, like, Yero's arc is her going from being enslaved to being a paladin to becoming a hierarch, or what, uh, whatever the title is. The her earning the right of hierarch isn't isn't there apparently. According, I barely remember it, but according to Bellier, it isn't there. There was going to be a Shatrat raid and stuff going on there, and that could have been you know, built you know reason for her ascending to that rank. Much with your uh, much with Jaina. She's imprisoned, she's freed, she does a good token towards towards earning her redemption, and then, then she's Grand Admiral. She doesn't do enough to earn that position. So they keep botching these characters, and I'm not entirely sure why. There was a bit of hubbub about having doing more for female characters, so part of me feels like... I find a lot of people like, oh, she's a strong female character, and then the character's a, a belligerent asshole that you just can't fucking stand, or at least I can't. So many times people pointed to female characters and things, and the character is in a belligerent asshole. Like, she, she, for comedy, beats around the male character completely, is an abusive fuck. And people are like, M strong female character! <laughs> It's fucking ridiculous. That's why I like when for Full Metal Alchemist, like there's one in the entire show. I don't care who you point at, most female characters play into that thing, and as such, I discount them. I don't care what else they've done, I discount them for that, because it's hard for me to take a character seriously as a strong female character, when in the same breath you'll go and, ha ha ha, here's she's beating up a man. Ain't that funny? Because she's a woman. It's hard for me to take her seriously as a strong character when you flop between the two at any given second. Uh, for those curious, the grandma. The grandma is fucking awesome. She doesn't get enough screen time. Though that might be good because otherwise that she would fall into that trope herself. Like seriously, the grandma on Full Metal Alchemist is awesome. The two boys tried to bring back their ma. And one loses his entire body, one loses an arm and a leg. They come in and in a terrible state. You know, one's now trapped in a suit of armor and the other is bleeding out from two different stumps. And she goes and deals with the beastie they make, made in the basement. That abomination of a person. She kills it and buries it. You know, Major kudos there, and all we see of her is as being a cool old lady. For what little we see of her. I, like, I really like that character. Winry can get fucked. Um, Winry can get fucked. Um, actually, H Hawkeye is fine. Hawkeye is fine. Do, do no... Ch um, Hawkeye is fine. 
Um, the general one, I don't like her either. Like, I love the show, it's just that one cliché they keep lying on for so many of their female characters just pisses me off. I do not like it. <laughs> I do not like it. And I feel like a gobshite over it. I feel like an honest gobshite over it. But, it, it just it just honestly annoys me. Uh, I've ran out of Psychopian, Psychops onions. Um, which is kind of given. They... Um, I have so much other material, but they, you need three apiece, and you go through them like a motherfucker. Sorry about the tangent there, but yeah, I just hate that tro uh, that thing. It bugs the shit out of me, and I'm not entirely sure why. It could be like I knew some really shitty women growing up, and while they were never violent, they... well, they never needed to be. Their bark was more than enough. Uh, you know, maybe it hits a sore spot there. Maybe I just don't like assholes. Mm. But yeah, it just, it just pisses me off beyond reason. Like, I, I love Full Metal Alchemist. It's a great show, but that is a crippling weakness of it. Uh, th that is something I would honestly dedu deduct marks from it on. Plus, it, it also creates inconsistencies within the story. Like, towards the end, the gen Armstrong general, the female, the female Armstrong, she kicks the shit out of her brother with complete ease. But then she's completely useless in the fight against Slot, even though she should be just beating the shit out of him. She's completely useless. The only fight she gets in, to my recollection, is against an unarmed old man. Who's like 30 years, 40 years her senior. And that's the only fight she's actually useful in. To my recollection. Um, maybe I'm forgetting something, but she's generally kind of useless. They build her up as a badass, but she's kind of useless. Her brother, who she utterly trounces, has his arm dislocated by Slot. And then has Slot punch it back into position. And Slot's fists can chisel through stone. And yet, she can easily hand him his ass. Maybe he was holding back, but... Let's assume, you know. Mm. She should still have done better than she fucking did. And she was fucking worthless. Uh, like, while Buc Captain Buccaneer was a dick, he earned some love with that, f with that final bit. With his, with his part during the final art, final stages of that show. He, you know, he earned some love there. But, oh, yeah, no. Again, for whatever reason, people can write some great characters, but then they get weirdly caught up when, if they make them chicks. Weirdly caught up. That's why I, my aunt, for, uh, um, for all my problems with her, did give me some good advice in regards to writing. Certainly, I doubt it was something she came up with or taught up herself, but still, she had a point in what she was repeating. Um, basically, write a character, come up with their traits, come up with their attributes, but don't come up with their sex. Wait till the end. Then decide, are they a dude or are they a chick? Like, uh, you know, aliens. Or Alien, then Aliens, Alien Tree, you know, that series with the Geiger aliens. Geiger. Um, the hell? I thought it was going to go into a boss fight there. Oh, it's their spell effects over there. Um, Ripley actually was wrote sexless. They weren't sure if it's going to be a dude or a chick. Sigourney Weaver turns up and they're like, you're hired! You know. It could, we could have gotten a dude. And, you know, it would have been the same. Probably not seen in very tight panties, but still, you know, it would have been the same. Um, but certainly I loved Sigourney Weaver in the role. She, she was f fantastic. But, you know, it, it would be a different thing without, you know, the, what she, you know, her portrayal of the character. 
But you, you see what I'm saying, uh, getting at there. She would, you know, it was left open, and th that's how they went with it. Um, other people clearly get kind of caught up in the character's sex and go weird about things, one way or another. Um, actually, I'm, I've heard there's one anime that's really popular as of late. Uh, My Hero Academia? And there's some weird someone was claiming about it. People were really weird about it. There was a villain named after a bad guy IRL, and people were like, they're, tr he's tr they're trying to diminish the badness, but the guy's a fucking villain. Um, and they're like ripping up their books, and it's just like, why? <laughs> they're demanding an apology. Why? It's like complaining that Wolfenstein is redeeming Hitler when you're fucking killing Hitler. Actually, people did the same thing with Doom. They're saying, oh, it's satanic. And they were, they were like, the ca Catholic or whatever he was on the team is just like, what? How? <laughs> You're shooting demons. <laughs> but anyway, um. The r guy behind it, or the artist, or. Well, uh, presumably the. Maybe it's the artist and the writer is the same person, as it is with a lot of manga. I've no idea. But, uh. Someone behind it anyway doesn't like seeing chicks getting hurt, so all the chicks in it get off a lot lighter than the dudes, apparently. And that's weird to me. That's weird to me. And depending on how they do it, wouldn't that introduce gr gross in discontinuities? Like, oh no, this someone's a heinous torturer and murder, murderer and butcher, and you know, there's a dude and chick in their service. Well, in their cap or a chick's in their captive, and they're just like, you know, got a single bruise on her hand. Mm. I'm exaggerating heavily, on, uh, obviously. Um, I'm being loose with my words to, because I'm not, I don't care enough right now to be, you know, tight and measured with them. <sighs> tight as a nun's arse. But yeah, it just seems weird to me. I, I can get about being squeamish about things like that. Um,. I, I, I can understand it, but at the same time, it's kind of weird. Um, so, yeah. Again, I'm not condemning it or anything, it's just something that's strange to me. I know how wound up people get about things. Again, like, like I said, I like love Full Metal Alchemist, I just consider that a really weak t part of the show. Um, I'm sure here, My Hero Academia is a fine show, and fine manga. And obviously, I know From It Atmos was a manga too, but fuck it. It's just that seem, sounds weird to me. It's just something I he heard about it and I'm commenting on. This may seem f ridiculous to be stipulating and clarifying here, but I know how fucking wound up people get about things they like. Oh, you dislike this one thing, I hate your guts. You dislike this one thing, I burn your house down. Um. One chick, admittedly, she had issues. Um, actually, is that really a fair example to give? Maybe not. I'll give a different example. Soccer hooligans. Their team wins, the team loses, they trash the fucking city. <laughs> you know, people get weird about things that they like. So I'm just clarifying here in, in hopes that it get through, you know, the dense, t you know, matter they call a skull. Admittedly, I'm not actually angry, I'm just trying to talk through the coldness here. But I'm, even though I'm cold and yet not cold. Anyway, moving on. You know, I love, just love red mage outfits. Though it's kind of got a witch hunter thing going on with that hat. Seriously, if I thought I could work it, I would. I would fucking wear it around. Same with uh, Lady Maria's outfit from Bloodborne. If I thought I could work it, my god, I would wear it. Or the robe in Witcher that I wore for, like, all of uh, the last bit of, well, a fair chunk of blood and, uh, of Hearts of Stone and all of Blood and Wine. That robe, if I thought I could get away with it. Oh. I loved Grault in that robe, glasses, and like the ponytail thing I had going on for him with the beard. It, it, it had a great mystique to him, and oh, it was beautiful. 
I remember joking about like sleazy romance author type. I I know I saw that in something else, and it just kind of stuck with me. But I can't pin it. It's oh, if uh, hopefully someone else has seen it and can you know actually say, oh, I know what you're talking about. It's this show. But I have no clue. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do with these. I think I will put them up for sale. Admittedly, I will get next to nothing for them. But I think the important thing is just to get the fuck rid of them. I don't mind taking a loss on them. Uh, to be honest, from what I've gave to the other person, I've made a profit. All in all, um, minus maybe the teleport. Um, but yeah, I, I just need to clean up my fucking inventory. There's too much nicks and nacks here. Uh, sweet Jesus. Hmm. even sell. Oh, actually, I, uh, I do know what to sell. One thing I can u get rid of to clean up my inventory. The thing I just fucking made. Made way too much of. I'm not actually sure how much I'm to try and sell it for. It took me way far, far too long to try and, uh, to get up to it. Um, I got footage here. You know, I'm thankful for fucking recording so much. I wouldn't remember so much otherwise. Um, actually, once it kind of bit me on the ass a little, I think I creeped a guy out. Um, I was talking to a guy a little in one battleground there in Legion. Just we were chilling around in Ratty Basin and on the lumber mill. And we chatted a bit, and he ended up adding me on f as a friend after the match. Uh, a battle a battle net friend. But I didn't recognize the battle net name. And because of my anxiety with talking to someone new, I was too scared to add them for ages. It was just like, shit, it's a person, it's a person. How do I talk to a person? Eventually I added them, but they couldn't fucking remember who I was. I started even looking through the video, describing, like, oh yeah, we talked about this and this, we were over in Ratty Basin at the Lumber Mill, and they had no fucking clue. <laughs> they had no fucking clue. Um, they're, they're still on my friends list, and they're still chill about the whole thing, but they had no fucking clue. Um, did I start trying to do it on this last one? Yes, I did. Um... Okay, I'm gonna mute the recording for a second and listen to this here. Uh, I just found where I was picking baked, uh, making out uh, how much the I could sell baked onion soup for. Regrettably, that no longer may be a valid price, but let's find out. Apparently, a thousand a piece was a valid price point. Um, apparently, a thousand a piece was a valid price. Um, actually, that was the last set I got to do before it's a sub cut. It was, you know, in the middle of that. Katana of the round? 
As in knights it around? Actually, that's possible. Yeah, it actually is. Um, there is a boss fight in it. One guy was calling it uh, knights it in in the music video, like the music video they put on YouTube of it. After boss fight, um, they refer to it as knights it around. And it does have a knights it around kind of thing to it. Though I think it's actually down under a different name in game. <laughs> um, I loved using that in FF7. Even spammed it during. Um, the Ruby fight, even though it causes Ruby to use uh, Ultima to smack your ass, I still just kept using it. And I just uh, had Phoenix hooked up to final attack and whatnot. Actually, I had hooked for my Emerald fight, I had hooked up Knights of the Round and Phoenix. Sadly, Knights of the Round went off first. Uh, I killed Emerald, but then died anyway because Phoenix wouldn't go off. Because there is no tar enemy target. It has to have an enemy target. <sighs> Say with me. I did also work out I would have to sell stuff at 700 something for a profit. But that's a little much. I could get away with selling it at like 900 or whatnot. Uh, we'll also... Per no, okay. Wrong screen. Uh, 20. 900. Oh, not mock... Um, Knock it down from a thousand, just to try and make it a little bit more palatable. Am I still here? Yeah, fuck, fuck's sake. Oh, clearly no one's buying owl goat steak. Uh, can someone else do it? Uh, retainer ventures. Breaking bow. Uh, okay, down here. 